Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Apple Monitor here, and today I'm going to be talking about a lot of cool stuff that has been happening in the tech world this last week. Finally, my finals are over, and I only have one week of school left, so I'm just going to make an update video here talking about WWDC and the newly previewed Windows 8. Alright, guys, so now I'm on YouTube, and it's on youtube.com slash Microsoft, and the title is Building Windows 8 Video 1. It's just a quick preview and first look of Windows 8 because they have not fully released everything yet on it. So let's just take a look and see what Microsoft has to offer. By the way, I am going to stream this in 1080p for you guys' viewing pleasures. Alright, so Building Windows 8 Video 1, 2011 Microsoft. Alright, so now as you can see here, this is the startup screen. You just slide up to unlock, you log in, and you get these live tiles just like Windows Phone 7. The reason Microsoft says that these live tiles are better is because they offer more information. For example, if you just want to see the weather right there on the weather app, you can just see without actually clicking on it and having to go through the hassle of loading it up. Also, this tablet OS includes Internet Explorer 10, which is a revamped version to work very seamlessly with tablets, laptops, and desktops. I'm going to explain that laptop desktop thing in a second. Now it's just in his news and showing the Metro UI that Windows Phone has been famous for, and now it is being brought to the desktop experience. This is the weather. Very nice graphics, seems to me. You get some sharing options on the bottom tab. And here you got some stocks. Looks pretty, pretty cool to me. But I do have a few doubts about this, and I'll tell you why in a second. So let's just watch here a little bit, and let's see what they have to offer. So this is the way that they've integrated multitasking. You just drag your um, windows from the left-hand side, and you just pop it right up. And as you can see, he's switching between different applications there. And now he's in his videos. So he's just going to play a video, which is in 1080p. Since I'm playing it off a YouTube video, I probably can't tell the graphics, but it is pretty good. And now it shows that you can drag applications side by side right next to each other. And in my opinion, this is amazing because you can just pretty much multitask, except it's a new multitasking experience. And you can multitask within those two windows as well. Alright, now it's going to load up Internet Explorer, show you guys the scrolling. It works really well. And the tab browsing, which they refer to as windows, but in my opinion, they're more of tabs. And this keyboard right here is going to be really cool, and you'll see why in a second. So there's a basic tablet keyboard, and I think it's going to show it about right now somewhere that it becomes a thumb keyboard, as shown here. If you want to use your keyboard as thumb typing like it is on the phone, then you can just use it like that. And now he actually loads up the Windows 7, so this does mean that you can use Windows 7. And now he's loading up a Windows 8 application to play side by side with the Windows 7. And as you saw, it just works seamlessly, and the Windows 7 interface does work a lot better. And you still get Windows 8 functionality while in the revamped version of Windows 7 that we were all used to. And everything just looks very seamlessly integrated, and you also have access to all the file systems inside of your Windows 7. So I like this a lot, but there's a few problems that I have to address. I'm just going to address them while you guys are watching this video so you don't get bored of me talking. But first problem is that they're going to need to get a lot of developers on board to actually develop apps to be compatible because it's not like you can use iOS apps or normal Windows apps. But yeah, I don't know. If they have a lot of apps on board, such as Netflix, a lot of developers, such as, I don't know, Pandora, Angry Birds, just normal stuff you have on iOS, I think this is going to be a great interface and great Metro UI. By the way, Metro UI stands for Metro User Interface, for those of you guys who don't know. And this is the guy who's just doing the demo right now. Just going to let it play through here. And also my other address is that this is made to run on tablets, laptop, desktop, but I don't see how they're planning on running that specific touchscreen version on a desktop or a laptop because it seems to me like that was optimized for touchscreen. Now this problem is semi-fixed with the running Windows 7 in the background, but honestly, I'd rather them just have this for tablets and then have a revamped version of Windows 7 for their Windows 8. But obviously not, because I can't really imagine using a trackpad and a mouse for that touch interface. So if I ever get this, I'll find myself using the Windows 7 option the majority of the time, unless I want to play apps like Angry Birds or something that will hopefully come to their user interface. Also, guys, now for the second part of this video, I'm going to be talking about WWDC 2011, which stands for the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference of 2011, which Apple usually debuts their iPhone 5 and next generation Mac software. Now, they've actually in announced or pre-announced this year, which they usually don't do, just to eliminate all the speculation, what they are going to be announcing. 
first off, they said they are not announcing the iPhone 5. They are not going to say anything about the iPad 3. Most likely they didn't say that, but I assume so. They're going to announce the Mac OS line, which they already have. They're going to release it and formally do a demo of it. Also, they're going to release some new minor software, such as Final Cut Pro. Also, they're going to release their new service called iCloud, which is going to be available on iCloud.com, which you can wirelessly stream your music. And if you want to see a video about that, it is on my channel at YouTube.com slash iPhone Monitor. Instead of the PH, there's an F in iPhone Monitor. And that is pretty much going to be it. I'm not going to go in depth about iCloud because I've covered it in depth, but I'm going to show you the official iCloud logo, and here it is. This is an article on BestTechInfo.com, which is run by ICU, if you guys don't know him. And this is the official article because while they were setting up for WWDC, they saw the workers putting up this logo inside the building. Also, just I'm going to go a little bit in depth, but apparently LA Times says that it'll be free for the first few months but after a while it'll cost $25 a year now that's not too bad in my opinion I would honestly pay if I find myself using for it but mobile me correct me if I'm wrong costs about a hundred dollars a year and it says perhaps as an add-on to mobile me so you might have to pay an extra $25 adding on to your hundred or six year what I don't remember so hopefully guys this is the case and also guys there's an official WWDC app so unfortunately I will not be covering it because it is on Monday June 6th and of course I have school till June 9th so unfortunately it is about 10 30 p.m. Pacific time it takes place in the Marcone Center in San Francisco, California. And here are just some features available for the app. It runs on iPod Touch, iPad, and iPhone. And I'm going to get it too. And also, it just looks like this. You can basically access events. You can see what's going on, see live streams, see live blog posts, see pretty much everything. I think it's pretty cool if you want to stay updated because Apple's website is not too good about updating within WWDC. So guys, I really hope they announce and maybe release this iPhone 5 in WWDC. I've already went over the iPhone 5 periods of time. You can check that out on my channel. If you want to see what's going to be on iOS 5, also check out my channel. Another thing that they said might be available for iOS 5, by the way, Apple did not say this, but other people have said this, is that a deep Twitter integration. Now, I think this would be great. Just upload photos directly to TwitPic or just post tweets directly from, I don't know, your notes or something along those lines. Enhanced notifications, better camera app, etc. Just check out my video on my channel. It's called iOS 5 Notifications. Also, if you want to see what will possibly be on the iPhone 5, check out the iPhone 5 info and rumors video that I have on my channel. It's called something like that. I don't know. Just check it out. And guys, that's all I have for you today. But remember, this is iPhone Monitor. Please like, subscribe, and check out the moderator module on my channel so you can leave suggestions for upcoming videos. And ultimately, have a nice day.